we got the beat by the Go-Go's. It's really fun to play and it can be intimidating. So there's two play two ways we can play it. Um, you can play just the root notes, which is the root notes are just the same notes as the chords that the guitar players are playing, so no extra fancy stuff. Or you can play fancy stuff. So I encourage you to try to play the fancy stuff because this song, um, the song's fun. <laughs> this song's fun to play. All right, a lot of bassy, bass-heavy features going on. Now the first part is simple enough. You're just on the fifth fret of the E string, right? And you're going one and two and three and four and that's your rhythm. So with your fingers, just make sure you're alternating your fingers, drums here. All right, that's it. Now when the verse kicks in that's when the bass cranks up, all right? The bass goes... Oh, maybe I should tune my bass. Notice an example. Um, you know, I can tell that my bass is out of tune because I knew my hands are right. As a beginner, you're not going to know that you, your hands are right, right? You're going to doubt yourself. Make sure you tune your bass before you start playing because you're going to get frustrated that you're not sounding the way you're sounding and you could be doing everything right here, but if your strings are out of tune, it's going to sound out of whack, right? Oh, it's not a bad example for y'all, but we'll learn from it, right? Alright, let's try that again. So fifth fret of the E string, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Or start slower and work your way up to that speed. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Alternate your fingers when you do it. Alternate your fingers, yeah. Um, all right, here's the next part. I'm doing this kind of walking pattern. Spider fingers. So hit the E string where you just were on the fifth fret twice. Then go to the A string, seventh fret. Fifth fret of the D string. Same string, seventh fret. Back, walk it back down. Go to the five. Go to the seven on the other string. So just play it along with me. Let's do it at a nice slow tempo here. One, two, ready, go. Right? That's it. That's the main part. That's what you really need to know. Now, um, the chorus part is a little bit different. It's going to be the fifth fret of the A string, uh, and that's your that's your rhythm. One, two, and and four, and then go to the fifth fret of the D string. Same rhythm. 3rd fret of the D string and 3rd fret of the A string. Then back to vibing on your 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and on the 5 of the um, E string. So this is the solo part. It sounds intimidating but it's actually easier then the other bit we just played, you know, the verse part. Um, so it's in the same box. Five on the E. Seven on the A. Five on the D. Seven on the D. And you don't walk down or anything, you just start over.
Now after you do that six times, then you go to the um, next phase of the breakdown where everything just shifts up. So it's the same pattern, your hands just moved up um, a full step, which is a full step just means it moves up two frets, right? So you, you shift your hand up to the seven, your pointer finger is going to be on the seven. Um, it's the same pattern, seven, seven, nine, nine on the A, seven, seven on the D, nine, nine on the D. And then after you do that twice, it goes back into the verse again. So then you're back to. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go through the breakdown part with you nice and slow. Just play it along with me. Okay. Here's our tempo. One, two, ready, go. Five. Seven seven five five seven seven. Now shift up. Seven seven nine nine seven seven nine nine. Now original verse. of notes is a really natural progression of notes you use these intervals or the fives and sevens and nines like use those probably more than any other note on the bass it goes back to that thing in your folder I, I put in there about the root the fifth and the octave like that's what we're playing we're playing roots fifths and octaves they sound cool this is like something that you're gonna be using this song aside all the time like this is the best song I think for learning the root, the fifth, and the octave. Now, when you go to write your own bass lines, you're gonna pull from this. The the progression of notes that we do, it's a natural progression in your fingertips, and it may not feel natural yet, but you'll get there. And that's gonna be your go-to as soon as you pick up a bass. Um, I mean that's like minimal effort, right? I'm not making that many that grandiose of mute movements here. I don't even have to strum it. Right? Don't I look cool? <laughs> You'll look cool too if you play your roots, fists, and octaves. Now, if you don't want to play or, or you're like too scared to play that shit in front of everybody, I get it. It's like, it's kind of fast. Okay. I believe in you and I believe you can do it, but you know I'm here for you and I will back you up. Now, if I end up backing you up, then I'm going to be the one playing. So all you need to play is the root notes, right? And that means really the whole song, with the exception of the chorus, all you're going to play is the fifth fret of the E string. On the verse you play. On the breakdown you play. Then on the chorus, I have faith that you can go. 